Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here, and today we are just going to go over a feature of Jock Form, specifically how to disable the submit button until the entire form has been filled. Now, this is really great for when you want to prevent empty forms from being submitted, or if you just want to make sure that everyone who comes across your form is actually able to fully complete it. So let's just get into it by creating a new form. So as you might remember, you just have to hit the create form button on the upper left, in this case, we're going to start from scratch, and now we're going to use the card form. Okay, just ignore that for now. Okay, so first off, obviously, we're going to have to drag in some questions that we want filled. So let's just say we want a full name question, we want their email, and we want their phone number. Okay. So these are just some sample questions, and our goal for this form is to make sure that each section, or at least text box in this case, is completely filled, and if it's not filled, then the respondent would basically have to redo the form, or at least fill it, so that they can then completely submit it to the creator of the form. Okay, so next thing we're going to do now that we have our questions and we know what we want filled, let's just head over to settings. Okay, so now that we're on the settings, as you can see, there are menus. There's a little drop down menu on the left side here. And what we're interested in, in right now is the conditions tab. So once you hit this, you're going to see that you can actually create a conditional logic. So basically, how this works is that if a certain condition is or is not met, you can enable or disable certain features of your form. So let's do. Let's try to use the enable or require field because this is what we want to do. We want to enable or at least in our case disable the submit for button until it is, the form is fully answered. So let's just hit that. Okay, so as you can see, the first thing you're going to see is that there is an if statement here in the top section and a do statement. So if blank is fulfilled, then the form will do this in the second section. So let's just make an example. So we want to select the field first so if let's choose one of our random question fields name and we have to choose a state is empty we want the form to do this which is disable submit button and you can also enter a message here which is optional where you can say like oh um, you, you cannot submit until you've completely filled the form until you completely filled the form okay and great thing about this is you can enable multiple conditions. So in this case, it doesn't have to just be the name you can add with this add button over here. So you can also do it with email and if it's empty. And lastly, we can do it with phone number if it's empty. And as you can see, there's another blue tab that kind of opens up here where it'll ask basically, like, do you want all these conditions to be considered or if only one of them is empty or if like all of them are empty at the same time. So if any of the if rules are matched, meaning like even if let's say you filled in phone number and email, but you didn't fill a name, we still will disable submit versus if it was all where if all where it, the submit button will only be disabled if all of these are empty. But in our case, we want any of it because we want all of the information to be submitted by our respondents. Okay, once you're happy with your conditions, just hit the save button. And as you can see, it's saved right here. So that if, let's just see if this works, we're gonna hit the preview button and try to answer it ourselves. Here we go. We're gonna skip everything and try to hit submit. As you can see, we cannot submit until you've completely filled the form. What more? Let's just add another name. What if we've only filled one part? We still cannot submit because it's still disabled. You have to fulfill everything. Example at example.com. And only then will it actually submit. And as you can see, we've done, done it. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Jot Form allows this feature for the regular forms because, as you can see, if we were to head over to settings, make the same conditions, and we were to say, oh, if email is empty, as you can see, we do not have the disable submit button at all. Even if you were to hit disable and we we're trying to hit submit, looks like we can't actually turn off that button and the respondent will still be able to submit it. So just take note of that. It looks like this feature is mainly for the card form, not the general forms. 
And that's all we have to say about this. Hopefully this helps you better manage your data collection. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you need any more help when it comes to job form, check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. Thank you. See you next time.